the AMX VCI derived from the iconic French AMX 30 light tank stands as a testament to the versatility and adaptability of armor vehicle designs. Serving as the frontline armor personnel carrier of the French Army until succeeded by the AMX 10P, the AMX VCI continues to play a crucial role in military operations worldwide. The AMX-30 light tank, designed and developed by France in the 1950s, revolutionized ammo warfare with its compact size, powerful armament, and advanced mobility. Initially conceived as a light tank, the AMX-13 soon evolved into various specialized variants, including the AMX-VCI. The AMX VCI represents the infantry combat vehicle adaptation of the AMX 13 chassis. It was specifically designed to transport infantry troops into battle while providing adequate protection and firepower support. Equipped with a spacious compartment for troops and roof mounted machine gun for a suppressive fire, the AMX VCI ensured the safety and effectiveness of infantry units on the battlefield. The first prototype was completed in 1955 and the first production vehicles in 1957. It was used in large numbers by the French army but has been replaced by the now next door systems AMX 10P. It is believed that total production of the vehicle mounted to approximately 3,400 vehicles. The chassis of the AMX VCI is similar to that of the AMX 30 light tank. The hull of the AMX VCI is of all-welded steel armor and is divided into three compartments with the driver and engine compartments at the front and the tube compartment at the rear. The all-welded steel armor provides the occupants with protection from small arms fire and shell splinters. The highest level of protection is over the front arc. The tube compartment at the rear. The 10 infantrymen sit back to back down the center of the hull and enter and leave the vigor by two doors in the hull rear that open outward. Each door has single firing port. In each side of the tube compartment are two piece hatch covers. The lower part of each has two firing ports and falls forwards into the horizontal and the upper part falls upwards through 180 degrees to rest on the tube compartment roof. Armed with a roof-mounted machine gun, typically a 7.62mm or 12.7mm caliber, the AMX VCI could provide suppressive fire against enemy positions, enhancing the effectiveness of infantry maneuvers. Built on the reliable and agile chassis of the AMX 30 light tank, the AMX VCI boasted excellent mobility, allowing it to traverse various terrains and navigate through urban environments with ease. It is equipped with a 250 horsepower SOFAM engine, giving a maximum speed of 60 km per hour and a range of 350 km. The torsion bar suspension either side consists of five single rubber tire road wheels with a tri sprocket at the front, idler at the rear, and four track return rollers that support the inside of the track only. The first and last road wheel station either side have hydraulic shock absorbers. When originally introduced into service, the VCI was not fitted with NBC system, but one was subsequently fitted to later production vehicles for the French Army. 
infrared driving lights are standard on most vehicles, but they do not have any amphibious capability. Despite being phased out of service by the French army, the AMX VCI remains operational in several countries around the world. Its cost effectiveness, reliability, and combat proven performance have made it a popular choice for nations seeking capable and affordable armor personnel carriers. The AMX VCI born from the lilies of the AMX-30 light tank, continues to uphold its legacy in innovation and adaptability on the modern battlefield. As a versatile armor personnel carrier, it has earned its place among ranks of essential military vehicles, providing crucial support to infantry forces worldwide.